Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition to GSS Videos. I'm your host, Glenn Sam Sloan, and videos is what I do. So let's come over and uh, discuss the reason of this YouTube video. This YouTube video is another advertising video for one of my newest groups which I set up late last night to the early hours of today um, so let's have a look the group's name is Hydrocephalus and Spina Bifida Online Network in the UK uh, it doesn't matter if you're not from the UK it's just because I'm from the UK right um so if it'd be better if you if you were all all was from the United States, okay but it doesn't matter if you are all i ask is that you've got to have hard to carefulness or spine the bifida or both that's all i would like or or at least know someone who has hard to carefulness or spine the bifida or both see how you've got two things there you can join if you know someone with other hard to carefulness or spine the bifida or both or you can join because you've got hard to care for this spina bifida or both you know what I mean so um, if you ever want to meet anyone from this group any member if any member wants to meet another member in this group all I say is to meet in the public place to tell a family friend or a friend family member um, who you're meeting say so you tell them your name Tell him where you meet you know that person and what time you meet that person, because then, then if something happens to yourself, you the person the, the person or persons who you've spoke to and told who you're meeting, where you're meeting them, and what time you're meeting them, all right, and where you're going, all right. They can say, oh, they come. They're, they're meeting this person. They're going here. They're doing that. They're doing that. Um, so. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot safer for yourselves, right? Um, here is a Shine um, North group of uh, I've joined. Um, this one here I haven't joined because I'm not from Surrey, right? So sorry uh, the, to everyone who is from Surrey. I'm not. Um, this one here is Shine East Anglia. I've I've joined that group because I'm from East Anglia. Right, I liked this page because it's the Shine. It Shine's personal Facebook page, um, and Shine does do a Shine does a very very good job in helping and supporting people with hard to care and spinal bifida. That do a very good job. So they do a very good job. So I've joined them. Right, here is about this guy here. He's talking about a dog who has hard to care for this. Right, I want, I'm not gonna play it because it, it's uh, the dog starts really badly cry. It's really heart wrenching sort of thing. It's really sad. sad. Um, this one here, her right? learning to walk. He's got, she's got a uh, hard to care for this. It's just learning to walk for the first time All right this one here she's also got hard to care for this this is Bobby All right this here is me for my latest shunt operation and let's get in this shunt here here is another one it's uh, hard to care for this emergency how to tap a VP shunt that's been campaign for us like that. If you are on the other end of that bloody needle that goes into your shunt, it is bloody painful. And I mean painful. Um this is if this video here is a pretty good video, but it's very in depth. Very in depth. Um it's got a lot of info information there. It's in depth information, it's really good. Um so I would just let you look it up. It's on, it's on, it is on YouTube as well. Someone put it on YouTube. I nicked it from YouTube and put it onto this Facebook page, Facebook group, because I set up a Facebook group for hard to care and spine the rifter. Alright. Um, 
this one here is another video again I nicked a lot of my videos from YouTube because if, not, if they've got if they talk about how to care this in depth then I'm going to I will take them from YouTube and put them to the Facebook group because it's going to help not just myself but other people too right so that's a good one to look up for as well this is my own cartoon video it still has a it's this short video so it's not that long but it it pushes a lot together and it tells you a little bit about um how to care for shunt management um shunt failure failure and all that so it's a pretty good uh video um this one here again good video it, it's um it's shunt it's hard to keep the awareness so it's a pretty good one so i thought share it because it's a good well i downloaded it from youtube so i hope the owner of this of the uh video here is fine with it because it's with me pinching their video and using it in my group i did not make this video like i didn't make that video either but i've pinched them because that uh, those two videos here and here are out of this world they're actually really good and well put together so well done to the uh creators of these two videos okay uh -huh. um this one here uh which good one as well um can't really read it but it's just that uh, so it's, it's a shunt video sort of thing um so please look it up it's a good one they're all good videos i've been watching them for from they all got very good um, information um, and they don't always um, cover the same bit or they do they can then word it in different ways so it's easier to for people to pick up all right so uh, um, this one here normal pressure hydro calculus I put that in here as well this is a what is spina bifida two of 12 there's a lot of youtube videos but it's fine if that apparently if two of 12 apparently. all right so i will be looking them up and i will be adding these ones in all right um i've got some pictures here i was over to click up here because keep smiling and cure hydrocephalus we all want a cure for hydrocephalus we, we all do we all do we don't want to have hydrocephalus but we that's face it we've got it so you've got to make uh whoops we've got to make um a good life out of a bad situation make good out of a bad situation you know what i mean life is like a raffle t it's like a raffle you have we have the with the winning ticket or you get the bum deal uh, life is a gamble <laughs> um this here again is for i made this video this i made this picture here using shine's logo all right and i put it's your time it's your year to shine for shine so contact us today on and i put shine i don't work for shine i'm just a shine member all right and i must say i've met i've had the opportunity to meet some really 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 nice people who a works for shine and uh for and b who are who are like myself members of shine all right so there you go keep calm wear yellow spawn the bifida heart slash hard to keep this awareness all right and you've got this little uh thing here so you know, it's keep calm oh, not keep calm sorry about that what am i saying that for i'm a dime bar i'm a dime bar right anyway um how to care for this it's a hard to care for this awareness thing um keep calm and shunt on yeah <laughs> uh, for those of you who've seen this video who doesn't know what a shunt is a shunt is he is he sort of plastic at these sort of silicone not plastic silicone um devices that goes into your brain and then down to your stomach and it takes CTF fluid it is water uh, a brain fluid water or it's not on the brain 
but it's inside the brain, but they call it water in the brain. If it's for the name of them. So that's what a shunt is. It help it takes a shunt from the brain to right and it's a spirit of number it's brain it's C T F fluid. S spinal fluid. Right. Um Keep calm, it's only hydrocephalus. I love that. I actually do love that. I think it was freaking cool. I've got one of these pictures, so I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna nick it from my, my personal page profile and stick it to this group because I actually do like. I've actually done one myself. Of so, um, and common causes of hydrocephalus, and it's got the common causes of hydrocephalus and I've split it up into sections so it's easier to pick it up all right um so as I go off of that minute and then here I will listen to this minute because it's only a short one all right let's have a look the excess cerebral fluid from a patient's brain a CSF shunt involves insertion of a valve that regulates and drains the excess cerebral fluid from a patient's brain. The operation normally takes less than an hour, and it is a common procedure done by skilled neurosurgeons. Incisions are made to the head and abdomen. Tubes are then passed through the fatty tissue under the skin. A small hole is made in the skull to allow the ventricular tube to be passed into the lateral ventricle. The peritoneal tube is then placed into the abdomen to allow the fluid to drain. After surgery, the patient will typically spend up to seven days in hospital to ensure the procedure has been successful. A far more effective solution exists in the form of an adjustable valve. This shunt is identical in every respect to the fixed valve, but critically, allows the physician to make small adjustments to the pressure setting by using a remote magnetic programmer, eliminating the need for further invasive surgery and ensuring the best possible improvement for the patient. Okay. And I looked it up, right? The, the, that's the shunt. This uh, they're doing here, this person here, this guy here, he's got the same shunt as what I've got. So he's getting his shunt reprogrammed. I find it, do you actually feel the shunt being reprogrammed? It doesn't feel that quite, yeah, it feels that weird. Um, what else? Look at this. When the infant is upright and quiet, in children and adults, there may be headache. No. I'm not listening to it all the time because it's just too big. My, but get to give you an insight of what my hydrocephalus is. Right. And a full. In infant, irritability and or sleepiness and vomiting. In infants, there may also be prominent scalp veins, a downward deviation head. of the eyes, and a full, intense fontanelle when the infant is upright and quiet. In children and adults, there may be headache, vision problems, personality change, loss of coordination or balance, tiredness, and difficulty in waking up or staying awake. The standard treatment for hydrocephalus utilizes a shunt to divert excess CSF away from the brain to either the abdominal cavity or to the right atrium of the heart. CSF may also be diverted from the lumbar spine to the abdominal cavity. Occasionally, the CSF may also be shunted into the pleural cavity. The components of the shunt system usually include two catheters and a one-way valve. Some of the shunt types available include fixed pressure valves, valves with over-drainage anti-siphon protection, such as the delta valve, or valves that can be adjusted to different pressure settings after surgery, such as the strata valve. The PS Medical Strata 2 valve is an adjustable flow control valve in which the resistance properties of the valve can be changed non-invasively by the caregiver. It is designed to minimize overdrainage of cerebral spinal fluid and maintain intraventricular pressure within a normal physiologic range, regardless of whether the patient is standing upright or lying down. When the patient is upright, gravity pulls on the fluid column in the distal catheter of the shunt, causing the delta chamber diaphragms to close. The diaphragms remain closed until positive ventricular pressure is high enough to reopen them both. 
biggest challenge of treating hydrocephalus in newborns is that you need a shunt that can take on different conditions. Dealing with a really young preemie, you need to run with a real low pressure valve. And then as the preemie grows up, you need to be able to change the pressure settings to adapt to the child's life. Ultimately, the child will be standing up and running around and the right. pressure I think because it's getting quite long now, isn't it? So, but if I stop this so to be able to change your valve, so in, I.e. a programmable valve, and um, then you can go acid. back. Uh, I think there's a great. Actually, well, I'll stop that now. Um, it's, it's too long. If you'd like to watch any of these videos, it's on face. They're on Facebook on the Facebook group called Hard to Keep This and Hans Bond the Bifter Online Network in the UK. So please feel feel luck feel please feel uh free please please be free please feel feel welcome that's the word I was after mm -hmm. oh god please be welcome please um please feel welcome.